uh, and plot the ST and VT graphs from 4 A and B until they meet in the same diagram. So this is the question. Just uh, like uh, what we did last week, the two cases, first two cases are combined here. One object is moving vertically downwards, whereas the other object, it is moving vertically upwards, right? So the question is clear now. The things we are supposed to find time taken, height from ground at which height they will meet and the velocities when they meet and the graphs. So it's more or less the same questions. So let me call this part and perhaps the other part as well. Right. I'll leave the question as it is and let's start. So it's a 150 meter tall building. 150 meters, right. Start with height is 150 meters. Object A is oh wait, uh, yeah, it's thrown vertically downwards at 20 meters per second, and B is thrown vertically upwards at 30 meters per second. Okay, this is B, and this is A both are thrown at the same time so we take the initial time as zero and then b will be moving up a will be moving down and at one point they will be meeting so there will be b and there will be a <clears throat> and the time at, at which it happens we'll take it as simple t and velocity of b will be like this velocity of a will be like this right and the distance Displacements uh, we can consider just like in the previous examples, SA, displacement of A, and this can be considered as SP, the displacement of B, the distance B has traveled vertically upwards. All right. So, what's the approach to this question? So many unknowns, time, velocities, and displacements must be found. But one connection we can make is when you add SA and SP, it should be equal to 150. When you add SA and SB, it should be equal to 150. As you all can see. And then, so what we have to find out SA and SB separately. To find that out, we know the initial velocities. Um, we know the acceleration. Obviously, it's uh, G downwards. 10 ms minus 2. And we need the displacements okay so the wisest thing to do is using this equation is equal ut plus half a d square now i need length sa and length sb when i add those two i will get 150 so let's apply the equation for a sa and remember direction is important when you use this equation since a is going down i'll apply the equation downwards so sa equals initial velocity is 20 time taken is t plus half into for acceleration i have to put 10 into t square why did i put 10 because acceleration is in the downward direction so sa is equal to 20 t plus 5 t square first equation okay and then for b if you apply the equation you have to apply it upwards because b is moving upwards so displacement of b is sb upwards initial velocity is 30 time taken until it meets a is t plus half into for acceleration you have to put minus 10 because i'm applying the equation for b in the upward direction but acceleration is downwards into t square so ultimately we will end up in this equation 30 t minus 5 t square because the direction is opposite for the acceleration so we all know that uh, SA plus SB is equal to 150. So instead of SA, I can substitute this 20T plus 5T squared. And instead of SB, I can substitute the other value. What will that be? 30T minus 5T squared. And that whole thing is equal to 150. All right, fine. 
So people, you can say, um, when you add these things, uh, 50T will be left on the left side equal to 150. So finally, time will be equal to three seconds. So these two objects meet after three seconds. Okay, that's what you have to find out first. The objects will be meeting after three seconds. And uh, what else are we supposed to find out? How long will it take for the objects to meet? Three seconds. And after that, at what height from the ground will the objects meet? So this is the first question. Now the second part, at what height, height from the ground will the objects meet? That is SB from the ground. The height will be SB when they meet. So if you find SB, then it's okay. So for SB, we have already derived an equation. 30t minus 5t square. So SB is equal to 30 into 3 minus 5 into 3 square. Uh, that is 90 minus 45, 5 into 9. And that is 45 meters ultimately. 45 meters. Okay, right. So once you get this right, others will fall into place. It's very easy. Right, third one. What will be the velocities of the objects when they meet? So what will be the velocities of objects? Uh, for A, you can apply the equation downwards. For A, you can apply the equation downwards. That is uh, V equals U plus AT. So when it meets, VA is equal to initial velocity is 20. Acceleration is 10 into time is 3. Now, why did I put 10 for acceleration? I'm applying equation down. So VA is equal to um, 50 meters per second. And for B, if you apply the equation upwards, because B is moving upwards, final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration to time. Final velocity we have to find. Initial velocity is 30 plus for acceleration I have to put minus 10. Why minus 10? Because acceleration is downwards, but B is moving upwards and time is 3. So 30 minus 30, 0. Okay. Velocity of B will be 0. You can automatically find it. Now it starts at 30 in, a th in 3 seconds. Its velocity will become 0, right? Because it's moving upwards against gravity. So we are done with 1, 2, 3. And let's continue to the other part. That is 4. The last one. We are supposed to plot VT and SD graphs. VT and ST graphs. So talking about the VT graph and ST graphs, um, let's start with the velocity time graph. Now, for this case, let's take that upwards is plus and downwards is minus. All right. So A is moving downwards, B is moving upwards. A is moving downwards and B is moving upwards. So the velocities of B must be taken positive. These values are positive. But for A, we have to take the values as negative, like this, because the direction. All right. So if you plot the graph, VT graph. Okay. Start. Velocity, time. How about B? It starts at 30 and it has reduced to 0. So the graph for B will be like this. In 3 seconds, it comes to rest. This is the graph for B. Until they meet, we have to plot. Right? Okay. And uh, this is B. Okay. Starts at 30 meters per second and becomes 0 final velocity. A starts at minus 20. It's downwards now, minus 20, minus 20. And after three seconds, it is minus 50 because it's downwards. So the graph for A will be starting from minus 20 and very important should be drawn parallel to B. That's important. Okay. Right. Sorry about this time. It should be three seconds actually. And after three seconds, how about A?
So if we have a series of a will be starting at minus twenty, and when they meet, it will be minus fifty. Minus is just for the direction, okay? Minus is just for the direction. Right. So I hope this is clear to everyone. This is the VT graph, people. Right. And then drawing the ST graph. When you draw ST graph, we have done this before. Now, A is already on top. A is already on top. So let's take this point as our zero displacement, bottom. Okay. And this point is our maximum displacement, that is 150 meters. So A is already on top, and B is at the bottom. And B here, B is decelerating. In the positive direction, A is uh, accelerating in the negative direction. A is accelerating in the negative direction. B is decelerating in the positive direction. So, if you draw the graph for B, it will be like this. I have used green. Use the same. B decelerating from zero. Its final displacement is forty-five. So, it will be like this. After three seconds, B will be at a height of 45 meters. The graph shape is like this because it is decelerating. And A, its initial velocity, sorry, initial displacement is 150 meters. And from 150 meters, it is accelerating in the opposite direction. And its final displacement is also 45 because they both are meeting at this point after three seconds. So this is the graph for B and this is the graph for A. The reason is it is accelerating negative direction and B is decelerating the positive direction. Okay. So these are the answers for this particular question. Let me explain this displacement time graph again. If you take this diagram, we are going to plot a graph for both the object in the same diagram. Both the objects in the same diagram. So you have to understand, I have explained this in the last class also. You take this displacement as zero, this displacement as 150, because I'm taking the ground as my starting point. So A is already here. A is already here when time is equal to zero. B is here when time is equal to zero. So where, when time is equal to zero, A is already at a height of 150 meters. B is at zero displacement. That's the meaning of this graph. And then after time, after actually three seconds, uh, B is here, A is also here. This is A, this is B, after three seconds. Sorry, three seconds. And that point, that displacement will be, I think, uh, 45 meters. You have to use this height as your scale to define the positions of the objects. Now, if you are plotting the graph for A alone, you can start from zero and draw 105 meters. But we are plotting for both A and B in the same diagram. So they both can't start from the same point, the displacements. B is here at when time is equal to zero. A is here. So A is already, A has already moved 150 meters away from the starting point. That's why the graph is like this.